let's get back to the subject of SAP Cloud Platform Integration Suite. <music> Hi, I'm Ian Thane. Welcome to another SAP Co Talk. And I wanted to invite Shilpa and Udo back again. You met them on previous Co Talks to talk about the future, uh, how to future proof your process orchestration scenarios and support hybrid integration landscapes with SAP Cloud Platform Integration Suite. Man, that's a, that's a big title and a big subject, but we're going to try and break it down for you to a number of questions and uh, a very short sort of sound bias in code talk. So first of all, I'm going to hit the ground running with Udo. Uh, Udo, what does it actually mean to future-proof your process orchestration scenarios and how does integration suite help to support the hybrid uh, integration? Uh -huh. Super. Thank you, Ian. Nice talking to you again and thanks for your question. Yes, right. How to future-proof your integration strategy? Definitely. This is a very good question. So so actually two things customers should keep in mind. So one thing is SAP Cloud Platform integration is SAP's strategic integration platform as a service. It's mentioned in Christian Klein's updated white paper again on SAP's integration strategy. So SAP Cloud Platform Integration Suite supports all kinds of integration scenarios, hybrid integration scenarios, cloud integration scenarios, API-based integration, application application, B2B integration scenarios. So one thing to keep in mind, look for SAP Cloud Platform Integration Suite, use it. And second one is SAP has very good news with respect to the maintenance of SAP process orchestration. So maybe here Shilpa can talk about, about more details. So the recommendation would be move to the latest release of SAP process orchestration, then you are future proof you know, with respect to your process orchestration scenarios. Second recommendation is then consider the SAP Cloud Platform Integration Suite for your agile integration scenarios, hybrid integration, cloud integration scenarios, and then third to future proof your integration strategy move slowly, you have all the time, over the time, move your process orchestration scenarios to the SAP Cloud Platform Integration Suite. Uh, and here we will support you and further details we can discuss. Yes, so of course. I mean, you mentioned obviously mm -hmm. uh, Shilpa, so I'm gonna to turn to you Shilpa, this, uh, uh, mm -hmm. with regard to uh, what's the, what is the roadmap? for process orchestration. And since last year, we have been hearing a lot of discussion around where is SAP with respect to PO, what is the roadmap, do we need to migrate, upgrade, and so on. So uh, let me take this question with three key points. As you all know, SAP PO is actually a solution bundle comprising of process integration, business process management, and business rule management capabilities. And as, uh, as such, it is part of process, uh, product SAP NetViewer. SAP has extended the mainstream maintenance of SAP NetViewer release 7.5, which also applies to process orchestration, which means that now the maintenance goes uh, until 2027 with an option of extended maintenance until 2030. For all other releases, mainstream uh, maintenance ends after 2020, if you are still on the older release, you have upgrade or migrate option to uh, latest release 7.5. Second one, if you are, as an organization is looking to take a step towards SAP Cloud Platform Integration Suite, we will provide a migration tool to transition from a process orchestration to integration suite. We help you with building new integrations and following best practices for moving your existing integration scenarios to SAP Cloud Platform Integration Suite. You can uh, also see the details in the SAP Insider article. So uh, last but not the least, today you can do the manual migration to CPI tenant. You can upload schema definitions and interface mappings from PO to CPI tenant. So uh, also uh, you can check out our roadmap on roadmaps.scp.com and you will get a detailed view of where are we respect to PO and what are our future steps. But actually Udo, what would be SAP's recommendation for process 
orchestration customers. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you, Ian. So this is another great follow-up question, definitely. So as mentioned by Schilpa, so the maintenance for SAP process orchestration has been extended until 2027 or even until 2030, taking extended maintenance into account. So customers are safe on PO75. So all customers who have not upgraded yet, recommendation one, number one would be upgrade to the latest and greatest release of SAP process orchestration 7.5. Then you are safe until again the, another 10 years. Second recommendation would be then complement all your existing PO scenarios with agile integration scenarios, hybrid integration scenarios, cloud integration scenarios, using, for example, API management capabilities of the SAP Cloud Platform Integration Suite for your API-based integration scenarios, leverage the more than 1,500 integration packs delivered as part of the SAP Cloud Platform Integration Suite for your cloud integration scenarios, hybrid integration scenarios, for the integration of applications, business partners, government agencies, Agencies, leverage the 160 plus adapters for non-SAP integration, for non-SAP cloud-based applications integration, leverage the on-premise runtime of SAP process orchestration that comes together now with SAP PO for your hybrid integration scenarios. And then you have all the time, slowly one by one, move your existing process orchestration scenarios to the integration suite. And here, as Shilpa mentioned, you can already import message mappings and schema definitions from process orchestration into the integration suite. So whenever you need to change a process orchestration scenario or create a new scenario, then already think of the integration suite and slowly one by one replace your older process orchestration scenarios with integration suite based integration scenarios. So move to the latest PO release, complement your integration scenarios with the integration suite, and then slowly, one by one, move your existing PO scenarios to the integration suite. Some great recommendations mm -hmm. there, Udo. Thank you so much. Will there be an on-premise version of Cloud Platform mm -hmm. Integration Suite? Yes, Ian, yeah, that's also definitely a very valid question in order to replace process orchestration eventually with the integration suite or at least the scenarios of process orchestration. We are also thinking of an on-premise deployment option of the integration suite and not only thinking, we are planning for it. So by next year, so in 2021, we even plan to provide an on-premise version of the SAP Cloud Platform Integration Suite, which will contain then the API management capabilities, and the cloud integration capabilities, plus even the cloud connector. So in one on-premise deployment option, also the integration suite will be available. So with this, the integration suite will cover all required deployment options of the customers on-premise, as well as cloud-based integration scenarios, running fully managed in SAP data centers, as well as in hyperscale environments like Microsoft Azure, Alibaba Cloud, Amazon Web Services, et cetera. Excellent, excellent. Jilpa, where can our developer audience uh, find information on migrating, upgrading, uh, moving uh, their PO content to integration suite? Yeah, sure, Jan. So uh, first one, uh, you know, we have the SAP Insider article written by Alex Harshanudo from our team, from product management team, uh, which talks on future proofing your integration strategy with SAP Cloud Platform Integration Suite. It's a really exhaustive article and you can get started with that. Then uh, to get started with integration suite, we have our open SAP course talking on simplifying integration with SAP Cloud Platform Integration Suite. You can quickly start there. We, and it is developed in such a way that you have all the integration suite capabilities with hands-on experience of each of the capabilities. Also, uh, we have PO Roadmap now in place and we would discuss further uh, details in our upcoming events, example, tech ed and so on. And also we have a lot of blogs available on SCN community. So let's get started with our SCN, SCN community, open SAP course, the roadmap, which is already there, and also the SAP Insider article. Excellent. Well, Shilpa, Udo, thank you so much for joining me this morning. It's been a pleasure as always. Great information for our developer audience and hope to see you again soon.
Thank you.